Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to the Social Strategy Podcast or whatever. It is week nine in the Big Brother house, and I'm looking rough, but oh well. Um, Last week, Tiffany won the head of household. She nominated Kylan and Sarah Beth alongside Xavier, who was automatically nominated by himself. Claire didn't do anything. Hannah won the veto. She <laughs> took off Xavier from the blog. The final nominees were Kylan and Sarah Beth. And Sarah Beth goes home. Of course, she's not in the cookout. Ugh. Um. This week, Tiffany wins HOH again. That's why last week was really, I was like, why? Is-? Anyways, this week, Tiffany wins HOH again for the second time in a row. She technically was not supposed to win this HOH according to the plans of the cookout. Therefore, some of the people in the cookout were mad. And by some of the people, I mean Xavier was very upset by this decision. Um, and that is affecting the way he's approaching the rest of the game. Um, Tiffany nominates Alyssa Xavier. Her target is Alyssa. Alyssa was the power of veto. She must backdoor Claire, her girl. Uh, very, very horrible. Claire is now on the block by tiffany it's looking a little rough um final nominees are claire and xavier claire is likely going home and this thursday there is a double eviction which is interesting which means i really got to talk about these people because one of these other people is going to be going on Thursday today and i don't know who it is um oh, what if it's tiffany? anyways i'm depressed because who could it be we're gonna go through these people we're gonna talk about these players we're gonna just hop right in and get into it um Alyssa. Alyssa's game is looking a little bit more up. She has confirmed the last person, um, the last non-cookout member left in the house. And Big D and Xavier are both willing to allow her to get past that seventh place hump. Um, This is only good for Xavier, not for Big D. I don't know why he's doing this, but hey, he just doesn't like Tiffany enough. So, um... Since that's the case, that's a, a positive for her. She is good at competition, so she could win this next HOH. The issue is, is even if she does, she's just going to do what Xavier kind of wants, which is for Tiffany to go. And she's um, still going to be the target after that, um, regardless. Um, and even if she wins a comp and if she wins and makes it to Final Two, whoever else she's with is still going to win the game. So there's still not much she can do. This week, Alyssa thinks she made this big move, getting Tiffany to backdoor Claire. That is not the case. She simply just... (laughs) She simply just thinks that she got this big move to happen when really Tiffany needed her to think that in order for her to be aware, to not be aware of the cookout. Whatever. So Alyssa didn't do anything, but she thinks she did a lot, and that's not good. But what she did do is win the veto, which means she can win comps against all of these people, which means that she does have a likelihood of making it past top seven into top six, maybe into top five, maybe even a little bit further, maybe even the final two. But either way, she's not going to win the game because the only people left to sit next to are people of the cookout who might get the votes and might not. I'm not too sold on the fact that if Xavier gets to the end with Alyssa, that he will get the votes. I'm not 100% sold on that. I'm not 100% sold on the fact that if Big D gets to the end with Alyssa, he'll get the votes. I'm not sold on the fact that um, Alyssa can't win if she makes it to the final two because I feel like the the reason she got there will be will be will be because of Xavier and Big D's lack of concern and that could be seen as a betrayal i could see tiffany feeling betrayed like she's going to know that xavier and big d wanted Alyssa to do this and wanted them to to do that so once tiffany if tiffany hits the jury um and xavier has anything to do with it tiffany is not going to allow the jury to vote for xavier to, the vote at the end of the game is going to go to who tiffany wants if tiffany makes it into the jury which is why it's kind of not good for Xavier to want Tiffany out. I know people think, okay, I know on paper, Tiffany wants Xavier out. Therefore, Xavier should want Tiffany out because Tiffany is going to be his biggest threat, is going to be someone who who wants him out. 
the issue is is that really Xavier should have just made sure Tiffany was on his side um, so that he wouldn't have to worry about her targeting him because if Tiffany goes to the jury with Xavier being tainted in her mind the way he is, Tiffany's going to make sure that Xavier doesn't win the jury vote. I've done talked about everybody but Alyssa. But hey, <laughs> it matters. So therefore, I feel like Alyssa um, can, in fact, win the vote. I feel like Alyssa could get someone like Tiffany to encourage other people to vote for her um, over these people because she outlasted the cookout. Also, since Alyssa is a person of color, um, it really helps Tiffany. It helps other people because it's like, I mean, hey, we're still voting for a person, not a white person. So, um, so I don't think it's just sold that Alyssa can just oop, oop, oop and lose. I think she could oop, oop, oop and win. So um, I don't think Alyssa's chances are that bad. I think she's pretty good at comps compared to these other people. I think Alyssa could be, beat Big D um, and Ozza in like almost any comp. That's two of the six. Um, Tiffany can't play and Xavier is throwing. So really, and Kylan is probably throwing. So really, all she got to do is beat Hannah. And Hannah not just this beast. So it's like, listen, Alyssa could easily win this double eviction HOH, take out Miss Tiffany. And then after that, it's not like Xavier's just going to magically want to get her out now. He's not just going to magically, he's going to start throwing the veto to her. He's going to tell Big D, hey, <laughs> let's throw the veto to her. Maybe she get out Hannah. Boom, throw the veto to her. Now, she, now Hannah has to go. It's like, ooh. And then at that point, oh, she's in top five? Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I think Alyssa's game has been... <sighs> Anyone not in the cookout barely had a game after jury started. But I think Alyssa's potential in this game is 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 there. I just think she's always had an issue with with hunkering down with that one person. It was Christian at first, now it's Xavier. She doesn't really, really expand. She has a lot of strategic moments and she knows when to be strategic and she knows how to strategize very well but she doesn't have a lot of social capital and she doesn't really try to gain social capital ever in the game she just tries to gain strategic bonds um and they don't really last because of that so i think in general this is a decent player but um i don't think she's necessarily going to win this game i think it's going to be hard for her to end up winning this game I think even if she wins a few comps, she'll just, oop, she got fourth or fifth. You know, she just end up getting out eventually anyways. Um, and if she makes it to the final two, it's possible that people would vote her over who she's sitting next to. But it's also very possible that they wouldn't. And they'd just be like, oh, I'm not doing this. Um, what did she do? You know, um, she didn't play that phenomenal of a game to necessarily get that um, over someone else. So um, I don't know. I'm going to give Alyssa a 4 out of 10. I still think it's unlikely, but I think it's more likely than it was last week. So, there you go. Um, Aza. I think Aza could win this game if she decided that she wanted to win this game. The issue is that instead, Aza has fixed her mind to believe that she's not going to win this game instead of, I am going to win this game. So, since she's kind of in her mind decided, I'm just not going to win. I'm just here for this, this, and this. Then she's just going to just stick to what she's there for, which is get Kylan out, seems like. So, if that's the case, I don't think Oz is going to necessarily win this game. She's not trying necessarily to win this game. I think Oz is capable. I think Oz has the potential. I think Oz could if she wanted to. I just don't think she wants to. And um, that just makes it very hard for me to even talk about her game much because she doesn't feel like she has a game anymore. A little bit ago, she just felt like she was a floater in the game. And a little bit before that, she just felt like she had no agency in the game. She has all these feelings, but she has no um, want to change them. It's not wrong for her to feel things in the game. It's not wrong for her to be emotional about her state in the game. But she just doesn't have the mindset to get herself to change her path. She kind of just sits in her path and just accepts it. She's more of a, I accept this, I accept this, I accept this, rather than I want that to change. When she found out she had no agency in the game, she didn't change that. She just was like, okay, they're just going to treat me like nothing in this alliance, whatever. When she found out she was a floater, 
Um, and she didn't like it. She didn't change that. She said, okay, I'm a floater. Let me play my floater role. Now that she's figuring out that she probably has no chance to win, instead of giving herself a chance to win, she's deciding, I'm just not here to win. I'm here for a different purpose. The issue is, is that that's not true. I think Aza could easily win. I think Aza's pretty likely to win if she decided even this week, even next week, if Aza just decided, I want to win this game, I'm going to win this game, she could easily win this game. I just feel like she's not doing that. Um, at any point, she could kick it into gear and just be like, that whole first half was planned. I just wanted to lay low. Because she did want to lay low, I feel. Um, just not as low as she laid. Um, so, I don't know. I just feel like she has potential, but she doesn't want to use that potential because she feels like, she feels like it's not there. I, I just don't think she trusts herself. I don't think she believes in herself enough. Um, and that sucks, but hey, life sucks. So with that being said, I just have to give Aza, I have to give Aza a five. I still think it's likely she can get to the end. I still think it's possible she could win in a bitter situation or even just win naturally. Aza still has a great social game. And she made it to final two and she's still unnominated and people still don't want to nominate her. If she makes it to final two without being nominated or with only being nominated at the final three. And um, she just talks about how she came in here and she played with her heart. It's possible that people like Britney, well, Britney's probably giving her her vote anyways. Big D probably is giving him his vote anyways. If she's sitting next to Xavier or Kylan, I can see Tiffany and Hannah being like, mm, women power. I can, like, I can literally see Ozzy just, oop, I won. I don't think it's just... Even if she doesn't do anything, I still think it's a possibility. And that's why I have to give her a five. Like, she still has a chance. Um, and that's just that on that. And that's just that on that. Um, next is Claire. I don't even want to talk about Claire. I want to say that I am... When Tiffany told Claire about the situation of her being the renom, it really did feel... Comforting... To know that the way she reacted um, was the way she reacted. I appreciate that her and a lot of these other players have been understanding of the cookout. It makes sense to me that these players are understanding of the cookout. Because um, Big Brother casted smart people um, for the most part. So it makes sense that the people who made it to jury are understanding the cause of the cookout. Because I feel like... If you're smart, you understand the cause of the cookout. It makes sense that the people in this cast who don't really understand it are Frenchie and Brent, who are also the people in the cast who everyone knows are lesser in the intelligence quota. Um, I feel like it just makes sense that uh, people who don't understand the cookout and people who don't agree with the cookout are also on the same side of this as Frenchie and Brent and not on the same side of this as anyone else in the cast i just think it really makes sense and claire being in that moment and really being showing her raw emotions showing exactly how she truly felt because that was her raw emotions it hit her out of nowhere she had no choice but to be genuine kind of in that moment so for her to easily understand right then and there without even thinking about it um without even questioning tiffany she never once asked tiffany um, well, is there anything I can do? No, she didn't even try to get Tiffany not to nominate her because that's how much she understood. So for Claire to just show that, it just was satisfying because it proved a lot of these people who um, felt like her or any of these other people are going to feel offended by this cookout thing. Um, I don't know why they would, but people felt like they would. And so Claire really just proved that wrong just right there in front of their face. And it's kind of funny. So um, I do like that about Claire. Other than that, she's going home <laughs> to the loop. <laughs> Love you, girl. Um, I really like Claire as a player. I really like the way she thinks in the game. However, she just has a lot of trouble implementing. But she knows she has trouble. And that's why she linked on to Tiffany. And she kind of wanted to cut Tiffany at the end. She, I feel like in a... In a season where a black person has already won the game, if this was the exact same cast, that Claire could have won the game. Um, not that she's the best player in the season, not that she's the most strategic player, but I think she could have won the game because I think Tiffany could have drug her to the end and that she could have accidentally won the final HOH over Tiffany and then not took Tiffany, um, possibly. And um, I think that's very possible. I think very it's very possible she could have been Steve to Tiffany's Vanessa, Tiffany is a lot like Vanessa, and Claire is a little bit like Steve 
in some cases. Um, and I think if this was the season Claire thought this was, that uh, Tiffany, that Claire could have won in the same manner that Steve won. Um, I think she had a lot of merit in what she said when she said she wanted to be the Steve. I think she really could have been the Steve. Um, maybe not as good as a player as Steve because she lacks self-interest sometimes but in another season where a black person had already won the game um i think it's very possible that claire makes it to the end with tiffany and it's kind of likely that she can win that final hoh she kind of sucks at comps anyways um so that's interesting but claire's going home so i'm giving her a two um she's really going home on her closest allies hoh so i might give her a one because how that happened but uh trash a zero claire's going home next Derek F. There's not much to say. If he makes it to the end, he's not winning. If he makes it to the end with Alyssa, I feel like she will beat him. If he makes it to the end with Xavier, Kylan, Hannah, Aza, or Tiffany, he's going to lose. So that means against anyone in this house, he's going to lose. I don't even think he can win. The way I think Alyssa might can win over somebody, I don't even think he can do that. Um, he's had zero agency in this game. He's done nothing in this game. He hasn't won a comp. He hasn't made any strategic moves. He hasn't even made an alliance. He's barely been in part of alliances. People don't even like him. Um, people in the jury don't think he's doing anything. People outside of the jury don't think he's doing anything. People outside of the house don't think he's doing anything. No one thinks he's doing anything. He isn't doing anything is the issue. Um, and I don't like him. Three. Next. Hannah. Hannah was in a good position last week. She was in a good position for these last couple of weeks, actually, within the cookout. But now that Xavier is acting like a child, Hannah is now in a worse position. Hannah is now the secondary target for a lot of the people in the cookout, for Aza, Big D, and Xavier. And that's not good. Even though it's secondary, it's still not good. If one person wins a veto, then she could go. Um... She doesn't have that good of a relationship with Kylan. So even though she's in this final three with Kylan and, ha and Tiffany, Kylan's probably going to take Tiffany. And Tiffany, well, Tiffany will take Hannah. But Kylan's probably going to take Tiffany. So Tiffany is the one who's really centered in that um, situation. And she's lost Xavier. So that's not really good for her at all. She's really diminished her position in, this, in, the, in the six. And that's not good. Um, other than that, Hannah, I think overall has played a good game. But... Uh, this last week is not looking too hot. She could end up going at this double eviction if Tiffany wins a veto or something. Um, if Alyssa wins an HOH and Tiffany wins a veto, then Hannah might, Hannah's going to have to go. Yeah. So uh, that's not good for her. With that being said, because Xavier switched up so much. Xavier switched up so much. I don't even think that makes sense, but we're not on Xavier. With that being said, I have to give Hannah like a 6 out of 10. I still think it's possible. I still think if she makes it to the end, she has a good chance of getting the votes. Um, especially now. I feel like her chances of getting the votes are growing a little bit. Just because I feel like Xavier is is giving people reasons to um, go against him in the jury. It's Even if, Ky if Kylan or Tiffany or Hannah or whoever goes is going to kind of have an icky feeling about Xavier... No matter what, unless it's Big D. So I feel like in the jury, they're going to have a lot more. The people in the cookout are going to have a lot more pull in the jury because they truly knew what was going on the entire game. So the rest of the jury has to listen to the person in the cookout because they have to listen to what they're saying. So that first person who goes to jury from the cookout is going to have a lot of influence on the winner. Um, unless it's Xavier. I don't think Xavier is going to have influence because Xavier didn't even have influence in the house. But if it's Tiffany or Hannah or Kylan, I feel like they're going to have a lot of influence on the jury because um, people know they played well already and people know that they have information they don't. So they're going to just listen. So whichever of those three go to the jury first are probably going to not taint, but let the jury know that Xavier didn't really do anything. And I think that's bad for his jury management. And I think that may lead for someone like Hannah or Kylan or Tiffany to be able to beat him. He's not that good of a play. He didn't really do much is the issue. Um, and I think whoever goes to jury is going to feel more inclined to push for that with the way he's acting. Um, next is Kylan. Kylan is playing way better this week um, just because of the fact that uh, Tiffany is messing up. Kylan is really harping on this Tiffany and Xavier xavier feud but i don't think it's helping enough because i feel like xavier's still going to come after him and kylan doesn't know xavier's going to come after him i still feel like it's going to be hard for kylan to win a jury vote because the way he's managing the jury is a little bit bleh. um but i still think it's possible i still think he has a chance i still think he's in a decent position i kind of feel like 
almost everyone in the cookouts in the same little position because Kylan, Xavier, Hannah, and Tiffany all got like two people coming after them. So it's like, eh, y'all all are in this booty hole position. It really just depends on who wins which comp. Um, Xavier kind of has a leg up because Alyssa's here. He can throw it. Da, 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 da. But uh, with that, I'm going to give it Kyle a six. Six is all around. Um, Tiffany. She's an HOH. She did horrible this week. She went against the plans because she wanted Claire to stay, but Claire's not even staying. So now Claire's going. Alyssa's going into final six, and she's mad at final seven, and she's mad at you and probably going to target you. Xavier now hates you, and he's going to target you, and if not you, he's going to target Hannah, which is not good for you. Um, Big D's already targeting you, but now he has even more of an incentive to target you. And you're in this final three with Kylan and then and Hannah, but Kylan's ratting it out. You're not in a good position at all, and Claire's going home. You're not doing good. You could easily go home at this double. It's not looking good for Tiffany, but I'm still giving her a six because she's a bad bitch. She's a great player. I think she could still maneuver her way out of this. I think if the right person wins HOH, she's still not going to go home. It's just if the wrong person wins HOH, she might go home, but she could still even get the votes then. Um, I'm not out on Tiffany, but it's going to be way harder for her to win this game now. Six out of ten. Next. <coughs> Trash. Xavier. <coughs> Xavier's acting like a child, but... <clears throat> to each their own. Xavier is um, in a better position than anyone else in the game because he has Alyssa going into Final 7 and he's still not... <clears throat> he still might be good at comps um, and that can help him. But either way, Alyssa's still here, so it buys him a week. <clears throat> and then when Alyssa goes... Um, the issue is when Alyssa goes, he is going to be targeted by Tiffany and Hannah and that's not good. But if he wins, then... He's good. He's still not in a great position, but he's in a slightly better position than everyone else. But I don't even think it's slight enough to give him another grade up. He's getting a six. Kylan, Hannah, Tiffany, Xavier, all sixes. Period. Y'all suck. Y'all are all going home. Possibly. It all really rides on these next couple of competitions. Whatever happens at this double, maybe Alyssa will just go, then that won't matter. But after that, that next HOH is very, very important um, to see how the end game is going to go. I don't think it's just cut and clear that Xavier is going to win that next HOH or that Alyssa is going to win this next one, it's very possible that it could go Aza Hannah. And if Aza wins, she could be like, mm, I'm not nominating Tiffany. Uh, I'm going to nominate you, Xavier, and then get Alyssa out. And then, uh, you know, it's very possible that Aza could get out, out Alyssa and then Hannah can win HOH. Or and then Tiffany can win HOH. <clears throat> or Kylan can win HOH. And if that happens, um, Tiffany and Hannah aren't getting targeted. Or it's very possible that Alyssa can win this next HOH and Tiffany go. And then Xavier can win the one after that. And I was like, ooh. <coughs> you know, like, either of these things can happen. No one is just explicitly better at competitions than the other person. Um, I think it's more even than it seems. Um, so, hey, we'll see what happens. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next week. Toodaloo.